Hey everyone, we're just in the middle of reinstalling our radiator, um, but I just want to do a separate video around how to treat rust on your car. Now, this shouldn't really be a problem for most modern cars, but you know, some cars are worse than others because they've been sitting around, or maybe um, they've uh, been next to the sea at some stage, uh, or someone's driven on the beach, um, or maybe you have some salt roads where you are. So there could be a whole number of reasons for rust. Uh, in this case, it was actually the radiator. I think it was leaking for a little while. So, you know, there's, there's quite a bit of rust on this bottom hose. So this hose goes at the bottom of the radiator and um, goes from the overflow bottle uh, to a pipe in the radiator. Um, and you can see this middle bit here. I'm sorry about the, the light. Um, it's pretty sunny today. You can see this middle bit here is quite rusted, probably because water just kind of sits there and just accumulates, especially when the car's off. Uh, so I'm just going to show you how to treat that bit of rust today. Um, I've already done a little bit over here. I've just started on this bracket. The bracket's actually, uh, this is the radiator support bracket. Um, that one's actually not too bad. It's not too rusty. Uh, but this, this is definitely going to need some treatment. Um, so things that you need, you need a wire brush to start with. Um, and then you also need some rust converter, which I've already shown you in a previous video with the exhaust. Uh, and you also need some paint that will cover the rust and um, you know prevent it from rusting again in the future uh, so let's get started so the first thing that you want to do is use the brush and just brush off all this rust because it's very flaky um, basically just get all the surface rust off and then we can use the rust converter um, to coat the rest of it um, to to get it ready for painting so just keep brushing until all of it comes off you can see it flaking off um, and then you should have a clean surface to paint with so after you get it looking pretty good um, and get most of the surface rust off you're going to need some of this rust converter and a brush and we're going to just apply the rust converter to all of the surfaces of this material or of this pipe and um, get it ready for painting. Okay so just grab your brush, dip it in your rust converter and then brush it on. Pretty straightforward. So you just want to make sure you do the whole pipe because there could be bits of rust that you're not seeing. And we're going to paint this whole thing anyway, so might as well paint everything. Cool, see you soon. Okay, so according to the instructions of my rust converter, uh, you have to wait 15 to 30 minutes before you do anything else. So that just allows it to react and allows it to convert the rust into something that is um, something that you can paint on top. So that's all converted now, hopefully. And uh, the next step is to use a damp cloth uh, to wipe all the excess uh, off. So we're just going to use a damp cloth and just, just do some wiping, basically. After you've wiped it down with the damp cloth, we're going to use methylated spirits and wipe the whole thing down with methylated spirits as well. Right, and then the final step of the process is just to wipe everything down with a dry cloth. I'm just going to use the same cloth as the methylated spirits, but just the other side, because uh, I don't have that many cloths. Um, and then once we do that, we should be ready to paint this. I've decided to go with the CRC Black Zinc Rust Protection Paint. Um, this should go on as matte black, and apparently it's a Factor 36 protection. Uh, so we'll see how it goes, just basically spray paint it on and um, that should be uh, much better than before, hopefully. All right, so that's the end of the results of the rust treatment. And we've just done one layer of paint, although I did spray it on pretty thick. Uh, didn't really worry about the paint running because obviously it's not really a part that's visible. Um, so I just kind of sprayed it on as thick as I could. Um, it looks all good. Uh, it's, there's still a little bit of flaking that you can see here. 
Um, I didn't really do a good job here because, to be honest, I'm actually just thinking about replacing this whole entire pipe with the stainless steel version, uh, which is about the same price as the original pipe. You get that from Auto Luso. Uh, so probably by the time the paint comes off and um, the rust comes through again, I'll, I'll just be replacing this pipe anyway because uh, these are known to be quite weak from factory. Um, and then we've got the radiator bracket that I've done at the same time as well. Uh, that's looking really, really good now. It's pretty much looking like new. Uh, so, I mean, again, I don't really think that this is going to wear anymore because um, once we fix the radiator leak, uh, there's with the new radiator, there's really not going to be much um, uh, water going in there. So I, all I wanted to do was just have a really, really nice coat of protective paint on there because um, uh, it looks like the original paint wasn't really that great. Um, so I, I really don't think that this is going to corrode anymore. So it's really just a preventative measure. Um, so again, what I've done is I've just brushed the rust off. Um, I didn't really even sand it or anything uh, and then just uh, did the zinc spray paint. Um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, it's actually pretty easy to remove just this bracket. So if we have to do it again or we have to do it more thoroughly, then obviously I will. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that this is going to hold up for quite a long time for now. Thanks for watching, see you next time.